YouTube, hello, 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 welcome back to the channel. It is episode number 27 of our FIFA 23 career mode with 1860 Munich. Last time around, we ended off the summer transfer window and we played our first game in the Champions League group stages. It went surprisingly well. We also started off the season against Bayern Munich. That one didn't go so well. But then we play them again, and it did go really well. So all things considered, not too bad of an episode last time around. And today, we just we just get stuck in. We just get stuck in with the season, and we plug away, and we play a bunch of games. We have PSG in the Champions League as well. So that's, uh, that's not fun. That is not going to be fun. So let's just get into it. Without further ado, let's play some games. <laughs> So at the moment, we are sitting sixth place in the table with seven points on the board. Don't read into it too much. We're only four games into the season. And uh, last time around, I, <laughs> I realized I cannot do basic math. That's why I'm a content creator and not a mathematician. So we have got Köln and Hertha Berlin, right? And then we have PSG, Mines, two friendlies that we will sim, and then Augsburg. That was the original plan. I now realize that only brings us to five games, and we usually do six in an episode. So, that uh, Atletico Madrid game, we're also going to play today. And I figured, you know what, extra little treat, we will do both the Champions League games uh, as extended highlight games, so both Atletico Madrid and PSG, and then we'll also do the Colon game as an extended highlights game, because that was supposed to be an extended game uh, last episode, and then we had a Champions League game. So yeah, let's uh, figure out the Colm lineup, and then we'll get into our first game of the episode. So this is what the lineup looks like against Colm away from home. At the moment, we have to rotate the side, basically because we are playing so many games in rapid succession that Lockenmacher is going to have to miss out. He's going to have to go down to the bench, and Wahi will be a single striker up top. So it's going to be Cranio in goal with a back five of Fatih Lombardi, uh, Dardai, Papadopoulos, Bellerin, and then Galarza, Michelle holding the midfield. Garnacho is on one wing, Ake is on the other, and then Wahi is up top. So against Colm, away from home, this should be should be an easy win, but uh, we will see. And here we go, the Rhine Energy Stadion is the venue today for Colm and 1860 Munich early on in this Bundesliga season. And Colm gets us started. Arujo, who has been very impressive the last couple games. Dancing around his man, Arujo. Big chance early on and a good save by Cronio. Chance here. Laid off, shot just wide and two early chances for Colm. Ellen holds off his man well. Wahi, nice turn, Wahi. Through, shot, oh, great save. Garnacho switching for Fati, but his header goes nowhere. And now it's a chance for Colm. Bakio, nice little move there. Dardai stole it, but it drops right back for Colm. Colm with a chance here. Whoa! <laughs> okay. All right, bud. Chill out. Bellerin chases that down well. Headed on. Wahi, nice take. And now it's Michelle. Michelle across for Wahi. Wahi into the nets. Had the keeper going the wrong way. And what a goal for 1860. They're up 1 to 0 at the end of the first half. Pass. Nice interception. Ball through for Wahi. Wahi could make it two. Wahi into the corner, and it is two to nil for 1860. That has got to seal it. Wahi plays it back. Wahi. Fati now. Oh, what a ball. Oh, great chance. Garnacho was on the end of it. Just couldn't put it in. Moro. That takes a deflection. Headed down, and it's on to Draxler. Draxler shooting. Draxler stopped. Luca Bacchio. 
Headed it away, but it's only as far as the top of the box. Laid off for John Lucas. Good shot, but Carano is there. John Lucas now a little bit of space. Oh, great pass. Shot, how did they miss? Great ball through for Linez as Vitek had stepped up. Shots off the post and in, and maybe Colton have a chance to get back into it. And if you are 1860, you are just holding on to this ball. Maybe not. Mishu. Why he Draxler into the net. And just when it looked like Colton would get back into it, Draxler restores a two goal lead. And that is going to be it. 1860, three to one. They come to Colton and get three points. All right. Match day number six. We are taking on Hertha Berlin at home. Dardai taking on his old team. Let's get into this one. Coming off a big win against Colm. Rotating our side before that PSG Champions League game. Let's go. De La Vega, nice turn. And he is right through. De La Vega, easy goal. Oh, Michaud just took too long on the ball. Great ball, shot! What a strike, and two to nil for Herza. Demirbai, what a shot. Kareem Demirbai scoring, making it two to nil for 18, or pardon me, for Herta Berlin. Draxler. Over. Moro shooting Moro in! The Loney! Gets a goal back for 1860. Pressure here from 1860, and they do steal the ball. Through now. It's why he why he could tie it. Why he does early on in the second half. Two to two. Mishu. Good pass there. Marich for Lock and Mocker. Lock and Mocker. No. Draxler steals. Draxler for Wahi. Wahi across. Lockenmacher's there, and it's 3-2. to two. What a comeback for 1860. We are into stoppage time here. Top of the box. Little back heel. Oh, great save by Cronio. And that might be it. It is going to be a corner. The keeper is up. Headed into the box. Headed away. Cleared. And that is going to be it. 1860. Hold on at home for a three to two comeback win. So Eduardo Greco, a youth player going out on loan for two years to Heidenheim. Um, yeah, he's a, he's a winger slash striker. Hopefully he comes back and uh, can be a death player for us and maybe even amazing. Who knows? We will find out in two years. All right, PSG at home. Luckily enough, we have a full strength squad and we are going to need it. It is Cronio and goal. Vitek, Costa, Dardai, Bellerin as our back four. Galarza and Michelle are holding the midfield. Maric, Garnacho on the wings of Wahi. Lockenmacher are our starting strikers up top. I mean, it's PSG. You know how good PSG is. I am not expecting anything from this. If we can even just compete with them, that'll be amazing. If we can get a point, ah, that would be a miracle. That would be a miracle. But at home, let's get into it against PSG, our second game of the Champions League group stages. Let's do it. Delap. Mbappe now. Darby through. And it's Mbappe. Long shot off the bar and it stays out. The first chance goes to PSG. Lock and mocker for Galarza. Zakaria Michelle turning. Wahi shoots. Wahi scores. At 1860, they absorb the early pressure from PSG, and Wahi makes it one to nil. Ten minutes in, and 1860 Munich are up one to nil on Paris Saint Germain. They could get make it two. Could it be? Lock and Locker! Lock and Locker scores! 
two quick goals in succession and 1860 are up two to nil what is happening in germany delap on the wing delap has space delap great pass shots off the side of the net ball through nice little back heel carlos soler mbappe no intercepted mbappe maybe just should have gone himself that will be cleared by Cranio. Galarza, long ball. What a ball from Galarza. It's for Garnacho. Garnacho, plenty of space for him. Long shots, not far off from the winger. As Rowey on the wing. Chased down by Vitek. Vitek overruns it. The lap now. Little back heel. Through! Mbappe stopped. He was onside. And Cranio with a big save. Garby. Garby in space. Garby. Oh, nice little move around Bellerin. Mbappe lays it off. Top of the box. Shot from distance. Cranio sees it through the wall of players and makes a save. And Lockenmacher having to track back. Declan Rice. Mbappe. Killian Mbappe. Nice little move. Back from Mbappe. Mbappe laid off. Mbappe again. Stop by Cranio. Rebounds. Another save, Cranio. And that's in on the rebound. A third one. Finally, the third shot goes in. Delop scores, and it's two to one. And the second half begins at the Grunwalder. Two to one for 1860. It was inevitable for PSG to get back into the game to get a goal. But to be honest, 1860, they deserve to be up. They deserve to be leading. It is not like their goals have been fluky. They have been in this game. They have been dominant for large spells of it. And they could score again. Shot no. Donnarumma with the save. Soler on the corner now. 54 minutes gone. Neymar has come on as a substitute for Garby. Declan Rice. Lays that off. Patina. Nice little back heel. Shot just wide. Marich. From the throw-in. And lock in Mocker. I mean, not much you could get on that. Pretty easy save for Donnarumma. Lock in Mocker. Heads that down. B-Tech. Garnacho through. Lock in Mocker. Across goal. 3-1. to The two-goal lead. Re-established for 1860. And it's Neymar. Serginho Des, Vitinha. Mbappe has a step on Bellerin across, dealt with. Cronjo, Cronjo, no. Oh, that is brutal. That is absolutely brutal. We cannot be giving up that type of goal to PSG. Oh my God. Laid off, chance for PSG. Back heel, shot. Cronjo just got enough of it. And substitutions made by 1860 10 minutes left can they hold on neymar neymar blocks barely dealt with turned over shot off the post it stays out and calvin phillips is on for psg alaba comes off as well for mukulele Vatinia at the top of the box Vatinia. neymar neymar with some space across Des the goal scorer Cranio, good save. And that is going to be it. Miraculously, 1860 Munich, despite the own goal, despite all of the pressure, pressure part of me from PSG, they hold on three to two. They get the three points, and that might have just secured them a spot in the knockout rounds. All right, we are taking on Mines after a huge maybe the most important the biggest win in 1860s history over psg at home in the champions league we are riding the momentum we're away from home let's get into match day number seven garnacho switching the play marich marich gets it back he's got some space marich into the box. Too close to the keeper. That's going to go in, though. And they don't call a foul on Lockenmacher. That's going to be one to nil. 
And that will be it. 1860. They get the one to no win. Mines, you have to think they are hard done by to lose out. But they do. And 1860 take the three points. So Max Romano, a youth player, going to Gaziantep. 550 grand. He was um, a 17-year-old Italian keeper. We are never going to play him. He was not going to be good enough anytime soon. So yeah, we get 550k for him. I'll take it. All right, so going into the Augsburg game, we won both of our friendlies one to nil. So you love, love, love to see that. I'm going to pick the team for the Augsburg game, and then we'll get into that one. So transfer. Um, listen, Montpellier came in for 5.3 mil for uh, Herman. We apparently could have got 7.7 .7 mil. They were not budging at all. We have not used him. You could argue that, yeah, we maybe need the depth, but I'm not going to turn down 5.3 mil for a player that we weren't playing. It gives us some money for the winter transfer window. So yeah, we'll probably look to just either bring somebody up from the youth team or find somebody for cheap. So yeah, I'll take it. All right, in the pouring rain against Augsburg, another rotated side because we are playing Atletico Madrid in just three days. Let's see if we can continue our really, really good form. We're currently sitting third place, so let's get into it. Me shoot. Through for Ake. And early on in the second half, finally, the deadlock is broken. Draxler makes it one to nil. And that will be the end of the game. A comfortable win away from home for 1861 1-0. All right, Atletico Madrid, and we are on six points. They are only on one. We could get through to the knockout stages if we can win tonight. And it is Cranio in goal with Vitek, Lombardi, Dardai, Beller in the back four. Galarza, Michelle in the midfield, of course. And then it's Garnacho and March on the wings. Lockenmacher, Wahi, the strikers. We have miraculously won two games in the Champions League. We destroyed Fiorentina. We shocked PSG. And I mean, this is going to be maybe the deciding game for us to get into the knockout rounds. Let's get into it. Chancey early! How did that not go in? Oh, what a ball. It falls for Maric. He's in! Maric scores and it's 1-0 early on for 1860. Why? Lockenmacher, a little bit of space for him. Lockenmacher now. Fighting off his man. Lockenmacher! 2-0! And Atletico Madrid getting us started in the second half. They are down 2-0. And they only have one point in this group. If they lose here tonight, that could be it. They could be out already. They have everything to play for. Meanwhile, 1860 is on six points. And lead the group off the bar. Headed away. And finally, it's cleared. Chance here, Carrasco through shots, goal, and Atletico back into it early. 62 minutes gone. Why he through Sakari Michelle? This could seal it if Lock and Mocker can score off of Black and in three to one. Skamaka, great ball through. So obviously, that needed to go in. So I was like, Skamaka, Jeff Felix, chance here, intercepted, another one, blocked, get that out of the, just get it out, just, ah, clear the ball, oh my god, okay, chance here, ball through Wahi now, so much space for him, Wahi stopped, rebound, Patrick, for lock and mocker, and it's over. 1864 to 1. And 1860 Munich 
three miraculous games in the Champions League. They win all three, four to one tonight against Atletico Madrid. A hat trick for Finn Lockenmacher. You love to see it. And Fiorentina beat PSG as well. Wow. So I figured let's look at the Champions League. And at the moment, we are on nine points with a goal difference of eight. Three wins in a row. You love to see it. Fiorentina are second. PSG are within catching distance of them. You have to think Atletico Madrid out with only a single point. Group B. It is Lazio a point ahead of Man City at the moment. Benfica just a point behind them. Group C, Leverkusen over Chelsea. Two points ahead of them. And then Sporting Celtic behind them. Juventus, a single point ahead of uh, Red Bull Salzburg. Group E, Spurs leading that group. They're probably through Sevilla or Club Bruges, the next one. In the, uh, the, the table there, the table of Group E. There you go. I know how to speak. Don't worry about it. Group F, Real Madrid and Inter are even on points. Real Madrid ahead on goal difference. Group G, Bayern Munich ahead of Napoli. That looks like that's going to be the top two because Pauk and Porto, no chance of really catching them. Liverpool ahead of Barcelona in Group H on nine points and three points ahead of them with Dinamo, Zagreb, and Wolfsburg. Probably no chance. So yeah, it looks like we might be through somehow somehow it looks like we might be through so in the league itself we are 19 points third place just a goal behind Borussia Dortmund and Leipzig are two points ahead of us uh where are Bayern Munich oh wow Bayern Munich not even in the top 10 they're 11th place right now so if there's ever a time for us to have a chance at winning the league I mean, if we keep playing like this, yeah, it might be this year. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So next time around, this is what it's going to look like. We are taking on Union Berlin and then um, Soundhausen in the cup. So we'll do the cup game as an extended highlight game. So it's two, and then we've got Schalke after that. We got Atletico again in the Champions League, so we'll do the Atletico game. So we'll bring us to what? One, two, uh, three, four, and then Leipzig, two friendlies, which will sim, and Leverkusen brings us to six. So you know what? Actually, we'll do... Um, we'll do either the Cup game against Sandhausen and the Champions League game against Atletico Madrid or the Cup game and Leipzig for the extended highlights so yeah I, all things considered it's going pretty it's going pretty well if i do say so myself so that is indeed the end of the episode and what an episode it was all things considered i think we did amazingly didn't lose a single game absolutely bossed the champions league i i'm shocked by that to be honest but yeah had you told me at the start of this episode, that we would win every single game, and especially win those games against PSG and Atletico Madrid. I would not have believed you, but here we are. And next time around, continuing on with the Champions League um, group stage, continuing on with the league, getting into a little bit of cup action as well. So everything is popping off, and I am very excited for it. I hope you are too. Do all the algorithmy stuff. You guys have been absolutely murdering it as far as comments and stuff. Uh, goes lately and i very much appreciate it so keep that up and i will be seeing you very very soon all right so have a wonderful rest of the day do not forget that you are loved you're amazing and smooches to you Mwah!